This radio control boat is really expensive. It's also the fastest radio control boat that you can buy. So in this video, we're gonna see how fast it goes and see if it's any good. Inside, we have two water-cooled brushless 6S motors, two water-cooled speed controllers, and it's made almost entirely from Kevlar carbon and carbon fiber. That means lightweight, super strong, but also really expensive. So in the box, you get everything you need to get this boat to run. You get the radio, you get the boat, you get all the insides, but you do need to supply your own batteries, and I'm gonna use these Onyx 6S. 6S batteries, two of them. 6S for this motor, 6S for this motor. So on here we have some specifications, but I'm not gonna bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm just gonna put a link down below we can get the boat from and we can get all the specifications from. Anyway, that's enough waffle, let's go rip. Hey, got stamp in the house, we're gonna take the boat out today. Let's do it, man, what we've we got here? So this twin motor, 6S, 6S, carbon Kevlar, it's supposed to do. 109 mile an hour in the stock pops. Here, I've got some special racing propellers, and with those, it should go even faster. All right. All right well, let's give it a quick whip now, see if it works. Make sure we've got it all set up properly. There's six on bolt, baby. Still got that ponytail going yeah, on there. Yeah, I think it needs another trim, doesn't it? <laughs> Are you gonna tug on it, Kev, and see if it starts? Yeah, yeah, we'll give it a little tug. Use two hands, oh, Jesus. Oh, it's painful watching you do that. Oh, yeah. One hand on the camera, one hand on the thing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steph's got it. That's the third year we've been doing this with the boats. Is you it? guys keep saying you want to see Stem back on the boats. Managed to get hold of him finally. <laughs> I'm not that rare, bro. <laughs> so down the river there, just around that corner, there's actually a really long straight. If we're gonna get 109 mile an hour, this is the place. That motor gonna work, Sam? Come on, Kev, get involved. Show everyone how you tug your pud, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so here's our little launching system. No idea if it's going to work. Now I've got to somehow try and get in this contraption without stacking it. Oh, we're off. Oh, no spiders in there. Oh, oh spiders. Oh, get me out of here, man. Turn him around and can I go oh, yeah. that way? Oh, no. No. Get out of here, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, controller on. Technical there, Kev, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's no, this is technical business, all this. Yeah. There's no joking, no, no laughing matter. It's not when really, it comes to us, mate. It's really serious business. <laughs> all I want to know if it dives. What, so you want to submarine it? Yeah, that's the technical I get, mate, with <laughs> these things. You ready? Go for it. What are you doing, adjusting your nuts? <laughs> 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 Okay, go easy, man. Is that running right? <laughs> what? It's not steering. Just steer right, it while steering, you're driving steering. it nicely. Oh, steering's the wrong way. How do you reverse steering? It's got dual weight, exponent speeds. There's none of them. Why has he not done it before? Oh, here we go. You've got reverse, channel one. Come on, why are you not steering it? It's not doing what I'm telling it. <laughs> it's not steering, dude. <laughs> I can't steer it. Oh, okay. It's got a full lock one way, you won't steer it. Oh. Oh, no. It's going in. It's We're not... better rescue it, man. <laughs> it's not steering for some reason. You got it? Go. Uh. Oh, hold on. We left that on. Oh, come on, man. Get that condom we, off. We put that on there so it doesn't rip the boat. No wonder it wasn't steering. Yeah, look, we've got steering now. Oh. Oh. It's got some delay going on here. I like, fold it, it didn't do nothing, then it went a bit later. <laughs> oh! Why did it? He's done that by itself. Oh, mate. Oh, we're filming the wrong way, Steve. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What mess, Ken? What happened there? I don't know, you sure. It's carbon fibre, whatever it is. Oh, that man. was going a bit. 
bit better there, but then it just took off. Go gent gently there, man. Oh. Get away, Kev! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, is. Well, it is responding a bit better, but sometimes you let go and it just keeps going. So the steering works now, however we've got a big delay on the throttle, when you accelerate nothing happens, then when you let off it still goes for like another two seconds. What the heck is I'm literally giving it a little water. squirt and it's just doing it. I'm to just run it up. It's not me doing that, it's just doing its own okay, thing. Well go slowly then. I can't go slowly, it's literally got no steer, it's just got a mind of its own. As soon as it goes, it does its own thing. Are you got the aerial out then? Yeah. Well, Stem, you have a go. <laughs> oh, <that out>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's going to kill itself, didn't I? No, it doesn't work when it's upside down because the aerial's in the water. Does it? I think we've got a trouble with the radio, it's just cutting out. It is like a two second delay, you accelerate nothing happens and it goes. So I think we're going to have to get in contact with customer services and get it working. Oh, What's okay. next then? Oh, oh, that's done that, that by still. That wasn't me. Oh, you hold that. Jesus, man, that thing's dangerous. Gosh, Stem, do your thing then. You hold it down the nose and I'll throttle it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no, I said Kev, no way, don't fry that. That was oh, getting in my face. <laughs> that was that far off my face. Dude, I said, no, don't do it. <laughs> just <cut the> face. <laughs> God's sake. I told you, I feel I've got that feeling, man. That thing's lethal. No, it's dead. Batches are gone. Have you gone flat? Yeah, I'm out. Next victim. So this boat here is the Oxidine Marine Carbon Kev. And I wanted to show you some more of it after Stempy used it, but unfortunately Stempy sunk it. Now here's all the techno babble, I'm going to put a link to the website down below if you want to check it out. Here's a couple of pictures here, really nice build quality and, well, yeah, I wish I could have showed you more, but here's what happened. That's bad news, that is. Well that, that's yeah. self-writing. Really? So that means I haven't got to keep going and get it. What happened to the last time one? It sunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got all this stuff on it, all throttle and stuff. Oh, Jesus, I'm not really sure cool. how that works. The battery's a bit too big for it, so that could be bad. So that one there. So you're supposed to have some proper marine tape for this, but I forgot to buy some, so we got to use duct tape. Woo! Wait, ready? Mm. Oh, look at that one, look. Yeah. So the boat's got a GPS inside of it, and it shows you on the radio how fast it's going. Man, this thing's lively. I've got a quarter bottle. Oh, get it going then. <laughs> oh, it's moving. <laughs> it's dead. It's sunk and gone. Signal lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's it. That was it. It's coming back. Oh, it's coming back. It's waiting. Lucky bugger. So the boat was starting to sink. Get over there. Get that engine started. <laughs> <laughs> it's sinking, quick. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like a shark tail, bro. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, careful, bro. Man, these are like knife edges. Nice filled up, bro. Is it? Oh, <gasps> how'd that get in there? <laughs> Is that getting in that hole there? Yeah, you'll go. Yeah, what's that? Uh, I don't know. Let's try and not sink it. So I think the battery was a little bit too heavy for it, and where we taped the hatch down, I think some water was getting in. Oh, go, go, a bit easy on us, Stem. Anyway, Stempies go. <laughs> Here you can see the voltages and all the miles per hour and all that technical stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Ship's are down. Mm. Should self right. I'm over, yeah. Is it self right, yeah. Sweet. The good thing with self writing, you don't have to go and recover it yourself. Go flat all the way past. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man, that thing moves! Yeah. How fast do you reckon it is? It's gotta be, what's the sound of the box? How fast has been ago? That's gotta be a good 50, isn't it? 30 on there, that's got to be more than 30. Where's he gone? Uh oh, have you sunk it? <laughs> Tim, where is it? I wasn't, I wasn't looking, I was looking at the screen. Why are you doing that? Where is it? Oh, down there. I can't see it. Uh, let's go back there then. Down there. Where? Here. Where? Where? Right here. Where? Here. What? Here? Yes. Where? <laughs> Dude, there. have you lost it? Around here. Where? There. Here. Where? Dude. Was Kev, do not accept these things again with holes in the bottom of the hole. They just don't work. How many boats have we lost now? There's two now, or three. The little boat's gone. 
the big boat's not really quite behaving, but we've still got the big boat. We'll get it back to the shop and we'll, we'll try and get it working good. All right, Stem, can you take that lid off? Oh, hold on, I'm smelling a bit in there. What's smoke coming out? Look at that smoke coming out. Is it hot in there? Why is this? Oh, look. What? Oh, what's this? Oh, shorting out on the carbon, isn't it? I don't know. It smells like electronics in here, bro. Oh, man. I think it's burnt out. Well, we'll get it back to the shop. We will get this thing working properly. Look at that injury. Look, Stem, what do you reckon? You get that when you're shaving your balls, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not with the manscape. That's got anti nick. Oh shit. Yeah, the manscape keeps your chicken skin safe. <laughs> right, back in the shop. I rang up Oxidine Marine, the manufacturer of the boat. I've got a solution, so let's show you, fix it, and then go out again in this video. So the problem was this carbon fibre plate here. The holes inside it are not big enough. Carbon fibre is conductive. All these terminals on the motors were all shorting out. So look at that. You can see that all burnt. So this plate should have been removed before they shipped it to me. But no big deal. They sent me a couple of new ESCs. So let's chuck them in there and try again. There you go, look, you can see where it's shorted out on all six of them. So next I've got to faff about all these wires. Look, the wires go around there, under there, all through into here. It's going to take me a little while, so I'm not going to bore you with that. So luckily I know a quicker way. So two brand new speed controllers. Boom! There we go, got them all fitted. I didn't bother with all these carbon fibre plates because it just covers everything up and like this, it makes it easier to work on. So now let's plug the batteries in and see if it works. <laughs> right, well it works, let's go rip. Right, here we are on location. We've got this little lake here. It's nowhere near big enough to go like over 100 mile an hour, but we can see if it works properly now. Go down, lob him in. So the boat is now responding perfectly. No more two second delay. The steering was working perfectly. So the ESC shorting out must have been what was causing all that interference. We've got a boating expert here that does loads of boating. This is actually an RC boat club. I've got no ideas with these. I don't know if it's right or not. So do you want to have a go? Oh and... yeah, go Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna sink! So Finley's trying to recover it. If water gets in, it's going down, it'll be gone forever. Jason's got a recovery beacon as well. Can Jason recover it? The concentration. Oh, Finley's got it though, with a little I'm filming with an iPhone 14 here and it does this annoying thing that when you zoom in, the audio goes all muffled. Anyone know any fixes? Hey! Well done, dudes. Now it runs perfectly with these new speed controllers. The throttle delay that we had, I think, was caused by the ESCs being shorted out. Now that we've sorted all that out, it's working perfectly. So here I've got these high-speed propellers. So in the next video, we're going to chuck these on, get the boats back out onto the lake, and see how fast it goes. Hopefully we're going to get over 109 mile an hour. This is supposed to be the fastest ready-to-run boat in the world. We got all this stuff here coming up, all this stuff here coming up. Just got this giant jet turbine plane. If you look down here, look, it's got a real jet engine in there. It runs on actual jet fuel. The thing's massive when it's put together. It's like the size of a car. Got a beast biplane there. That's also getting onto car sized. Look in there, 111 cc petrol engine. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. And subscribing's free, so why would you not?